Spoken Reasons did not get no respect from any of the cast members in the green room. Keep in mind, they saved that episode last. We do one episode at 3, we do one episode at 5, and we do one episode at 8 p.m. every day. <laughs> Spoken Reason got there early because he was excited to get some attention. So he kind of played himself there. So you walking around for four, five, six, seven, eight hours trying to show off, but nobody respects you. So what he started doing was following Emmanuel around. He started following Emmanuel Hudson around the, um, the green room. And Emmanuel was like, hey, um, I don't, don't at me, but, but it's true. He was kind of like, hey, my man, I'm trying to, do you mind? Like, get away from me, kind of. And Spoken Reason was like, this is what Spoken Reason said. He was like, oh, you mad I'm going to take some more of your shine? You mad I'm going <laughs> to... You mad? I'm, and keep in mind, we are not supposed to fight. We, we, we do contracts. We do legal. We just sat through four hours of seminars via Zoom uh, yesterday. That's why I went on it yesterday. It was yesterday because we're not supposed to antagonize each other. Lawsuits is heavy. Legal stuff is heavy. Um, but yeah, and he did like, he put his hands on his hips. He was like, what's the matter? You mad I'm going to take some of your shine? Almost like poking the bear. And E-Man was like, there's no dialogue here. Watch my body language. <laughs> okay, Hedy. You turn them off. Um, there was no body language. Like, there was no dialogue there. It was just body language. He was like, he was like, like, he was doing this. He was like, like, yo, get, he was like, man, get out of my face. That's what E-Man told Spoken Reasons. He was like, man, get out of my face. Spoken Reasons repeated himself. He was like, oh, come on now. You know you need the cloud. You know you need the time. E-Man got loud. He's like, yo, get the hell out of my face. Like, you know how when E-Man on stage and he like, I don't know. And he kind of, he was bothered. E-Man was bothered. Um, and we got nosy and we, we didn't do nothing. Honestly, I take advantage of the Wild Now platform way more than I should. And I've been having just a hard time trying to, you know, just build myself and my content. With that being said, um, a couple days ago. A couple days ago, I told you guys a story about um, Spoken Reasons in the manual, and I was out of place for that. I really shouldn't have put my foot in my mouth when it came to that situation. I was not present. I don't even think I was there for the episode, honestly. I was not present. I think I just watched it from TV, honestly. And um, I ain't gonna lie, I was a fan of Spoken Reasons, and I was a fan of Emmanuel, and I just felt like it was an easy target, and it was very easy for me to tell a story like that made up and all, because... I ain't gonna lie, I get on these platforms sometimes and I just, I cap, I cap a lot. And I don't want these, you know, these stories that I, I say to not be truthful and then y'all screen record and y'all send it to people. So, for this particular reasons, I'm gonna apologize. Uh, spoken reasons, I do, I do apologize, man. I, I never had anything against you. Um, I guess I, I misspoke. Um, it was, I, I support you. I rock with you. I think you're very funny. I think you have the potential to be anything you want to be. And you've already, you bypassed me and followers on Gram. So hell, who am I to, you know, get on a whole nother platform and, and speak on your name? So I, I do apologize for that. That shit was never, it was never my intentions to just like air you out or like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't my intention to air you out or lie on your name and none of that. This was just me chasing clout and just me just trying to keep people engaged. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I don't want you to feel no way. I know you was really upset at me when a, when a when a video hit your phone. You know I don't want no beef with you. I don't want no smoke with you. No problems. I'm not even a physical person.
channel if you're new thanks for clicking on this video but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the jewels that i'm dropping let's get into this video this throwback thursday Eman versus spoken reasons now if you grew up on youtube like i did then you know exactly who spoken reasons is and you know he had a viral video with emmanuel hudson called asking all the questions it's being brought up again their beef because i guess on tiktok now there's this challenge called asking all the questions and they're using now if you remember spoken reasons used to make the most hilarious viral skits and he's not doing that anymore because people are not sticking up for him because of the situation with him and e-man did an interview did the video dropped the video way before we were supposed to do it and went missing for a year hence the line the nigga snatched it from me then went missing started acting funny he did a movie doing comedy you know acting funny the, it's lining up. Everything is lining up so far. So anyway, fast forward. We in Essence Magazine. A year later, the nigga comes out the woodworks and say, be humble, nigga. I'll put you on your first plane. So whatever. Now, now everybody is wondering why DC Young Flizzle had my back on, on Wild and Out. I'll tell you why. Because him and Spoken Reasons had their own beef. It had nothing to do with it had nothing to do with me. Me, me and him beefing was just the cherry on top. At the time when World Star was all you know hot and everything, DC, I guess I can't I can't really tell y'all what happened with that story, but all I can remember was because me and DC was under the same label at the time. The nigga DC did, I guess he did something, not a skit with Spoken Reasons, but they met up and they talked. I guess Spoken Reasons, you know, called him and congratulated him on his success or some extra crap. Oh, matter of fact, no, that, that, that wasn't what happened. We ended up at the BET Awards. Me, DC, spoke, everybody was there when, when it came to Atlanta. So when DC seen, I, I guess when DC seen Spoken Reasons, they chopped it up and everything was cool. Like, he congratulated him on his success and all that extra stuff. The nigga, after they left, Worldstar interviews Spoken Reasons, and Spoken Reasons was dogging DC, talking about how he ain't funny, all this extra stuff, and all this extra stuff. So DC, like, and hey, nigga, I was just with you, and you, and you, you was, you weren't doing all this. You know what I'm saying? So now that we not together, nigga, you, you telling lies and saying all this extra stuff. So DC, like, nigga, when I see you, like, it's, it's, it's on and popping, nigga. You lame as hell for what you did. DC even called the nigga. They recorded the conversation. Spoken reason was shook. The nigga was like, uh, nah, yeah, 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 all this extra stuff. So now that's DC reason for, you know what I'm saying, like, beefing with this nigga. They got their own beef. So now years have gone by. I've tried to re like tried to reach out. He wasn't trying to hear none of that. The nigga wasn't, the nigga was on his high horse. After that, that movie, he did the movie with comedy, you couldn't reach him. You couldn't reach him. So I'm like, damn, like, I have to take that L. Like, I can't really, I can't do nothing about it. Whatever, that's years ago, leave it alone. This nigga, now, here, here's how the nigga got on Wild and Out. A couple months ago, now mind you, it's been like, I don't know, I want to get my math wrong, but it's been like four, maybe, maybe, I think like five years, six years since me and him have spoke. I get a random tag on Instagram that the nigga is dogging me on his Instagram. Spoken reasons dogging me on Instagram. This is like five, five years later. And I'm like, damn, like this nigga still like dogging me, bro, like. For what? I haven't spoke to this nigga in so long. Like, I let that go. Like, why is he, why is my name still in his mouth? I go to his page. He talking about like, oh, you know, I birthed these niggas. Y'all niggas want to talk about Emmanuel Hudson. I put that nigga on his first plane. We ain't going to discuss that, though. We ain't going to tell you how he came up. And just saying all this extra stuff. And I'm just like, bro, like, this nigga really, six years later, this nigga still got my name in his mouth. This is a clip of him talking about what happened. His side of the story, Emmanuel's side of the story, what happened backstage at Wild and Out. Now we get backstage. Now we get backstage. I'm sitting there chilling on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Talk to this one, honey. You know what I'm saying? Doing what I do. And spoke, spoken reasons come up to me. And he's like, yo, can I talk to you for a minute? 
So I get up and I'm like, what's going on, bro? He said, I want to talk to you outside for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got something to say. I said, my nigga, to be honest with you, bro, it's done. Like, we, we, we good. You know, we dapped up on stage. We good. You ain't got nothing to say to me. And he was like, bro, don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do got, don't act like that. That I spoke to DC. Me and DC squashed everything. You know, I said, that's you and DC. You ain't got nothing to do with me. And I'm just like, to be honest with you, nigga, you had six years or whatever many years to say what you had to say. If you got something to say, nigga, just, just say it now. We ain't got to do all that extra stuff. Like, just say it. And he was like, nah, because if I see it now, it's going to make it look like we doing this, that, and the third. So I just want to go out. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, bro, all right, nah, I'm good. So then the nigga got offended. The nigga got offended and was like, oh, man, so then, okay, you want to act like that then, nigga? It's whatever, nigga. And then he got on my face and did. I'm like, well, Tyler Perry, Nick Cannon, Manuel Hudson, we all finna be in the courtroom together. Because this is what I've been waiting on. And mind you, he's been beefing with a lot of people around the set, so... Nigga, it was finna be, yeah. So then somebody saw it, somebody stepped in front of it, and y'all know what lame niggas do when somebody step in front of a fight or step in front before things finna go down? That's when they start acting big and, 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 and big, big and big and bad. So when somebody stepped in, security stepped in front of us, the nigga took off his jacket. Like, yeah, what's up? I'm like, oh, this nigga wait? This nigga wait till somebody get... All right, so big commotion there. They pull us outside. This nigga wants to talk. They was like, I think y'all should skip. Like, I think y'all should talk it out. They had a few securities around us, making sure we don't do that. So the nigga just sitting here trying to talk. Little does he know, I got my hands behind my back, taking off my rolling. I'm getting ready to take out my watch. Come I'm finna snuff this nigga. And he was just sitting there like, yo, I I was humbled throughout the years, you know. I just want to say I can see how you was upset, da, 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 you know, this, that, and the third. So he he apologized, but it was one of them backhand whatever. And then after seeing what he's posting on his Instagram now and all this extra stuff, it's like, bro, you, you still haven't learned your lesson. So then my little brother show up. By this time, I don't even know my little brother there. I don't even know my little brother backstage. He goes to my little brother and says whatever he says. And then when my little brother tells me, like, he was like, oh, yeah, see, I could talk to you, you know, because your brother did that in the third. I'm like, my nigga, Phil, why didn't you snuff him? You ain't even got nothing to do with this, so why is he talking to you? So that was that. Split ways. Nothing really happened, I, I, you know, besides that little commotion backstage. Yeah. Where well, the problems came in was I uploaded the video first. To your channel. On my channel. And so and whatever money came from that for millions of views, yeah, 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 he yeah. didn't see any of that. No, nah, because that's, I mean, it, it was it was all new. If it's cool to hate me, if y'all don't like me, fine. I'm okay with that. And the thing is, like, a lot of people don't understand the bad story either. Because, yes, the thing with E-Man happened on Wild and Out, but that wasn't even about E-Man. Like, him getting on that show and everything had nothing to do with E-Man at all. So, for everybody, oh, he got on the show, he wanted to be on Wild and Out, and then when he got there, he was exposed. No, he got on Wild and Out because he started exposing other people. Be real about it. And to be honest, all them hundred niggas that jumped me the way they did on stage, but they ain't jumped me in real life, I only came with one person. It was a million of them niggas. They talking all this shit. Them, them boys ain't really about that. Like, right. maybe, maybe some are. Maybe. But what I do know is ain't nobody laying out one finger on me. And you got to understand, it all came up a perception of what this one person has told everybody. So, of course, if he's going to wild it out, and he man gave everybody this sob story that did not happen, might I add. Of course, all these people gonna be like, that's like a woman being in a relationship and told everybody this man gonna beat the hell out of her and then invite him to the cookout. The whole family gonna be looking at him like, like crazy. what the fuck you here for? Like we finna we finna barbecue you. Like now, mind you, this been going on, I say about eight. Now, now, now y'all, now one thing I here's what they're gonna say. Oh, he got somebody next to him. Nigga, you don't have people next to you for years. You don't tell motherfuckers. Yeah, you don't tell a thing. whole team. Even Nick knew. Nick said, "You know what? I'm gonna set this little nigga up. I'm gonna bring his ass to Wild and Out. And I'm a. I know he. I know him and E Man and all that. You know what I mean? So here's the thing. And, and be honest. Here's the question for all y'all. When have y'all ever seen me post my accomplishment online? You ain't never seen me post shit about the Heat. 
I don't post anything about Russell Simmons. I don't post anything about what got a million views, what got a hundred million views. I don't post asking all the questions. This is the only man that's still holding on to that shit. For real, think about it. I don't post none of my accomplishments. I'm okay with just sitting back chilling and fishing. I'm fishing and I'm chilling. But y'all want to come at me and act like I'm that guy. So here's my thing, everybody. If this is making sense to you, all I ask is, if somebody talks some crazy shit and you decide you want to go out and, and defend my name, just go ahead and do that. But don't jump and don't jump in the pool like you act like you know. Right. Because a lot of y'all are grown. Right. Most of y'all are grown. And y'all want to play this game like I'm not a real person. Like I don't have a family to feed. Like this didn't affect my life. It did, but I ain't homeless though. Slander my name for over 10 damn years. It's and I'm still slander. And I might keep going. And the reason why I'm still going is because this nigga still talking shit. That's what y'all don't understand. Y'all don't see this shit. Y'all, a lot of y'all do see it, but he's still talking shit. So my thing is, I've been quiet for 10 years prior to that. Eight years prior to that. I'm I'm waking up, she's sending me things like, hey man, you know they're still talking about you, right? You know they're still going in on you. I'm like, damn. They, people going live. They still doing this? It's not being I'm hitting. chilling. At all. I'm out fishing. I'm doing my thing. And you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that I'm tripping if I respond back and, and, and decide to clap back? Really though? So it's like so, so let me ask y'all a question though. If he's so popping, if he's so on, if he won the way he won on television, he won, right? He got the dub, right? Why he still talking? Why he's still talking? Now we get to see how much spoken reasons made from asking all them questions. Ten years. This is how much he made. He said you made a lot of money off of it. And then you had other people. Took the check and started acting funny. I really want to slap this dummy. <laughs> <laughs> he's there, y'all. <laughs> hey, cool. He's at the bottom right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey. My dog Trey. What'd it say, y'all? Read that shit. Can anybody read this shit for me? Can anybody read this shit for me? What'd it say, y'all? Are y'all are y'all stupid or y'all dumb or y'all want to play crazy? Which one? That is the entire lifetime of asking all them questions. And this nigga said I owe him three hundred something thousand and got on TV and said I'm a goddamn thief. Are y'all for real? This who y'all listening to though? For real? This who y'all listening to? Spo, I ain't even know you could zoom in. It, it's this gonna make it even worse. He talks like he know you can zoom in. This video had gotten 69 million views since it was uploaded. Now, how many views it got on his channel, Trey? So if, I, my, if my shit got 121, what his got? That boy said my boy spoke over 300K. Where? <laughs> they say, hey, Spoke, did you know that episode was going to go down like that? No, he did not know. He knew he, what he was walking into a show where you're going to get climbed. Everybody know what water knowledge is about. So no, he didn't go in there thinking everything was gravy, but how, how they bam, ambushed him and blindsided him and did all that, all that was planned. I went to everything. Walmart last week, bro. And here's the thing. I don't ever get disrespected. I've never been disrespected my, ever in my face. Thank God. By the grace of God, ain't nobody ever disrespected me in my face. Ever. Besides, besides I'm telling you. Yeah, and then yeah. a lot of people be but, telling like but, all these creators done been stole from. What other creator he done stole from that can back that story? But here's another thing too though, man. Do y'all understand what it's like when I got my son with me? And I'm a private person. You know what I'm saying? I get in, I get out, I move a certain type of way real swift, swift. I'm coming from Walmart, bro, in the parking lot. I see a tenant, when I see tenant windows, I say, oh, I know this person normal. I say, they're going to park this car and back it up. They're going to get out the car and say my name. This nigga had three people with him, a, a young woman, a girl who probably his daughter and a baby. He got, he said, hey, you the nigga who got slain on water now? Loud as hell. My son sitting right here, bro. What I'm supposed to say? I really don't want to give y'all no skits. I got skits for days ready to go. I just ain't did it. I ain't edited the motherfuckers. Some of them are edited. But why? Why put something up when the world gonna get on get on my junk and just slander me and act like I'm just this guy? And here's the thing: if y'all not willing to defend me, y'all just as guilty at this point because y'all know how many people coming at me. 
millions of people. That shit got millions of views. Nick Cannon is able to pay some of his 12 kids off my name. To watch the full video of Spoken Reasons, given his receipts, go to his YouTube channel. Bye, guys.